Hey, what's up, guys? It's Bradlebees here. Welcome to my show. I'm coming up with, I'm coming at you guys with a 36 and 6 gameplay on Yemen. Uh, this was my first gameplay I ever got on Black Ops 2. So this was when the MSMC was way OP. Kill confirmed. And um, so yeah, that's all about the gameplay. Uh, I go 36 and 6. So yeah. Anyway, what I want to talk to you guys today about was action movies. Now, as a film critic slash film student, I get very butthurt at the feeling that most people go to see movies because they are not necessarily interested in Kill the content of the movie or the Kill plot confirmed. of the movie, but because, oh, it's the new Iron Man, or oh, it's the new Fast and the Furious, or the new G.I. Joe, or whatever, you know? It's, it's just different different stuff, different day, you know? It's just, it's, it's, it's really aggravating to me. Whenever, whenever people watch the Oscars and they're just like, "Oh, well, why didn't this get nominated? And why did that win? It's so, it's so weird." And you know, it, even whenever I go to the movies, like I went and saw Olympus Has Fallen last night with my roommate, and you know, going into it, I knew it was going to be just another prototypical action movie. You know, I mean, it's, it's. The plot is so easy to guess. I mean, it, it, I knew what was going to happen. I mean, it's just some of the subplots in there were pretty, were all right. So don't worry. I won't give anything away about the movie. I mean, I'd give it a, I'd give it a three just because it's pretty original in the way that it comes off. And it's kind of cool to see a uh, director have the balls to destroy the White House. I mean, even though it is, uh, I mean, almost, what, almost 13 years after? No, 12 years after 9-11? Uh, uh, it's still pretty weird to see planes flying around Washington. So, you know, kudos to the director for that decision. But, you know, I, I just... I knew the movie wasn't going to be amazing, but, you know, it, it was entertaining. And that's my next point. You know, I don't Friendly go see UAV movies inbound. like Olympus Has Fallen or 99% of all action movies to get the, 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 the deep confirmed. meaning, you know, the ideological or the explicit meaning. And, and I just, I feel like yeah. most people don't know that movies do have those, those underlying meanings you know uh i i just i think some people go to see movies blindly and, and they just they see it for the spectacle they see it for the actor or the actresses who are in it and you know i'm i'm the same way i mean i love to go see the new this the new movies because it's new and it looks like it's going to be really good but you know that's that's not the, the the film critic in me speaking that's just a movie fan in, 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 in general. So as, as, as someone who, who is going to do this professionally or hopefully one day is, um, you know, why do they get all the attention? Like the Avengers last year and Dark Knight Rises, um, Kill confirmed. they didn't win any Oscars. UAV awaiting orders. You know, why, why do they get all the attention? You know, uh, they have the biggest budgets. They have the biggest backing from all the studios in Hawaii or <laughs> in in Hollywood. Wow, that was fail, fail. <laughs> but um, anyway, it's it's just so annoying to me because you know there are so many great movies like Silver Lining Playbook. I don't know if you guys know this or not. It was actually independent, independently produced and distributed. So that means they had no financial backing or distribution from Hollywood. So, you know, it's just tomato, tomato. You know, there's so much that you can say about what's wrong with Hollywood because, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a shame that it's come down to making these action 
superhero movies like Iron Man and Spider-Man, and the list just goes on and on. And, and you know why they make them is because they're so successful. And, you know, I can't blame them because it, it is such 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 a, a profitable thing. Like, take the first G.I. Joe. I know this is a terrible example, but it's the only one I know the exact numbers on. <laughs> anyway, the movie was made with an estimated of a $175 million budget, and it grossed $300 million worldwide. So, you know, that's that's a pretty good, pretty good profit, you know? That's uh, over 33% profit, so... So, I mean, why, why wouldn't you, as, as a Hollywood executive, only take the best of the best, or not even the best of the best of action movies? I mean, they've made everything. I mean, I thought Thor was, eh, okay, but, I mean, I bet it doubled its budget, you know? It's, it's just annoying to me, because there are so many good movies that people don't see because it doesn't have that title. It, it doesn't have that Paramount or Columbia Pictures or Fox 20th or any of the big studios' names on it. And that guy was a Dark Corner McDougal, and I hate Dark Corner McDougals. They can go die in a corner by themselves. Anyway, um, you know, I just, I find it, I find it so, so annoying, especially as someone who wants to break into the industry, it, it really, it, it's, it's really kind of depressing because, you know, it makes it to where you have to have this, this cookie cutter plot where A happens, therefore B and C must happen for D to happen, and you know, it's just... It's just deployed. not what I think movies should be all about. You know, the cheap thrill. It's not. It's not. It's not what it's about to me. You know, I. I want to see a movie that that lets me escape reality for that that two hours. You know, two hours. That's not hard to ask. And you know. I, I just find I find spectacle and action movies and CGI and all of these really cool action chase scenes like the Bourne movies to be boring and over the top anyway that's all i have time for you guys um if you like the video give me a like sub if you want anyway this has been bradleby's i'm out